Showers and storms are likely to continue through this evening across north central Florida. I'm UF forecaster Brian Bogiano. It's all because we have the stationary front to the north, which is stalling. We have a low pressure system moving to the north and east across north central Florida. And with that, a lot of storms spun around this and did fire up from the first coast. It started moving inland through this afternoon. Some heavy rain also near Gainesville and Jacksonville fired up and more is likely to come through this evening. I will show you my updated one minute rain forecast. Gainesville is likely to last through about 8 p.m. Also in Ocala as well. Ending a little bit earlier though towards Lake City and the and the nature coast, but the first coast, it could likely last through midnight and some of these storms could produce very heavy rain and frequent lightning. So that is going to be possible through this evening across parts of north central Florida. Here in Gainesville, the chance for that will likely decline after 8 o'clock. 0% chance of rain by 2, but notice these temperatures are kept in check. 76 at midnight, only 74 though at 6 a.m. And this will likely be the story. It's going to be a muggy start to your Monday morning but it will be dry. Rain showers and storms will begin to fire up though in the afternoon hours. I'll show you by three o'clock. Gainesville, Stark, Jacksonville, some storms are likely to fire up with some heavy rain. This will likely last through about six o'clock when heavier activity starts to fire to the south near Ocala. And I also can't rule out a potential storm moving through Gainesville by 9 p.m., but I do believe we will start to dry out by about 10 o'clock. So if you do have any evening plans for Monday, it will be dry by 10. However, our rain chances are increased through Wednesday as a result of a stationary front, that front that will be moving south, but it is going to lift to the north by Tuesday. And with that, showers and storms are likely through the middle of the week. Now, high pressure will be build in from the, wet, from the east by Thursday. And with that, our normal sea breeze pattern will return. But those showers and storms return once again at the end of week, at the end of the week for a potential front that might make its way through our area, and I will show you that. That stationary front will move to the south. It will lift and stall, but then I'm going to show you the one we're going to be watching on by Thursday, the remnants of Harvey. This is going to be extra tropical at the time. We might have a lagging front that could move through by the weekend, so this would increase our rain chances. But notice Thursday, this is going to be our dry day, not a lot of moisture over north central Florida. This could change if the front here does make its way to the east by the weekend. And I will show you that on my six day forecast. The driest day in the next six days will be on Thursday, the 20% chance of rain. But we are watching for a potential front for a rainy weekend on Friday and Saturday.